On today's episode of Tasha's Sewing Tutorials, we will be putting a belt into the abaya, the butterfly abaya that we made uh, last week. Okay, the way that we're going to make this abaya with the belt on the inside is we're going to mark um, the section on both sides of the waist where we want the belt to go inside and we're going to put um, two buttonholes, one buttonhole on each side and that's basically it so I guess let's get started. Okay now for us to decide, to decide where we want to put this um, belt in this abaya we have to try it on and we're going to put it around her waist. So I'm going to mark it, put your arms back out again, I'm going to mark it where I want the buttonholes to go with my pins and then that way I can go in and put them where they go. I'm going to put one right here and put your arm out so I can see. And I'm going to put one right here. And I'm going to go back with my trusty piece of soap and mark that. And um, I'll show you what to do next. Okay, now you can see that I have my um, buttonholes marked here and right here. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, where's that little patch at that I cut out, Beauty? I'm going to take this patch right here. And the reason why I'm using this patch is because this is the color that I'm going to make the belt to go to this abaya and this is a fairly thick fabric and because I'm using a thick fabric I don't have to use any interfacing for the buttonholes so I'm going to use this and you take this fabric and you mark it with the center of how long you want your buttonhole to be and I have one marked over here already and you put it on top of the space where you want your buttonhole for the abaya to go. Over that space, pin it down, and you're going to sew. You're going to sew, hold on once, all the way around here. And once I do that, and you want the two right sides facing. Because, and then when I do that, I'll come back and show you guys what to do next. Now you can see, I said um, to sew a quarter of an inch around here on the last segment, but really I should have said sew an eighth of an inch around the buttonhole. And you can see I've done that, and the next thing I'm going to do is open this up. And that is what we're going to do next, and you'll see that we're almost done. One thing I forgot to mention, before we open this up, we need to draw uh, draw like a Y section here and a Y section there. And we're going to open it up along this line right here. And when we open it up, we're going to have a triangle here, triangle here, and like a trapezoid type shape here, and a trapezoid type shape here. And that's what we're supposed to look like. So I'm going to take my seam ripper, open this up, and cut this, cut this, cut that line, cut that line. Do not cut through the threads though. Make sure you do not cut through the thread. Now that I open this up, you can see I opened up the hole right there. And now I'm going to turn this into the inside of the abaya. We're doing all of this on the outside and I'm going to flip this over to the inside. I'm going to try to do it with one hand because I don't have someone to record this for me. Actually I'm going to flip it over to the inside through the hole and then I'll come back and show you. And this is what it looks like. The hole, the um, facing has been flipped to the inside. This is the outside of the abaya. And sorry I'm doing this with one hand. This is the inside and we flipped it through the hole. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to top stitch around this opening and I'm going to um, go ahead and finish the uh, seams as well. 
and then I'll show you what to do next. Okay, now I have the facing sewed all the way around and I turned the end under and I caught the end in the stitch when I did it so I finished the seams and sewed the facing at the same time. This is what it looks like on the inside and this is what the buttonhole looks like on the outside. And now all we're going to do is put the belt through the buttonhole and there you have it. Okay, Beauty, can you raise your arms up and turn to the side and turn around, put your arms back, turn around to the front again and put your arms back down. Okay, and now you see that we put the belt in, raise your arms back up and we tied it around our waist. I didn't tie it too tight. You can put them back down now if you want to. And that's how you put the belt in the abaya. Now, if you were an adult doing this, come here, beauty. We were an adult doing this, I would have, put your arm up. I would have put the belt back here and back here. And it would have been more fitted. It would have been more fitted to the body. But since she's a child and she doesn't really like her clothes on kind of tight, I didn't do that. Turn around, beauty. And there you go. Well, there you have it. That is the way that you put a belt into an abaya. And first of all, let me go ahead and apologize for the quality of the video. I didn't have anyone here to record the last section of the video for me because my family ran out to go get something to eat and left me behind to finish my work. Well, once again, I apologize, and when I get another chance, I will record another video on how to, to um, belt the sabaya. But as for right now, this is the quality that we have. If you like the video, go ahead and, I'm sorry, right here, put a like right here, and subscribe right here. Leave questions and comments in the comment section. Thank you for supporting the channel, and as usual, happy sewing.